Welcome to Swingopedia. In this video, we're going to talk about swing clubs. Going to a swing club is just like going to a big party. There's usually a DJ, refreshments, dancing, and drinking. The big difference is couples go there to meet other couples, and depending on the type of party, there's usually playrooms for sex. Every club is not the same. So we're going to give you general information about what clubs are like. Keep in mind, these general ideas can vary depending on the club you attend. Before you go to a club, you should check the night to see if there's a theme. Once you know what the theme is, you have an idea as to how you should dress for that night. It's not mandatory that you follow the theme, but you might want to have an idea as to what other couples will be dressed like. So what can you expect when you go to a swing club? If it's your first time going to a swing club, you can expect to get a tour. During your tour, you will see where all the featured rooms are, including the playrooms. Some clubs have pools, lockers, coolers, and even showers. When your tour starts, you will be informed of the rules for that club. No matter where you go, the rules are usually the same. Rule number one, no means no. Rule number two, you are not allowed to touch anyone unless they give you permission. Rule number three, you're not to record any activity at these parties and you're not allowed to take any pictures. Anyone breaking these rules will be escorted out of the club. Some clubs do not allow single guys. If you are allowed in as a single guy, your access to various rooms may be limited depending on the rules of that club. You may not be allowed inside playrooms without being invited by a couple. Certain areas might be off limits to you as well. Some of the featured rooms may include dildos, civians, sex swings, sex machines, and glory holes. For your first swing party, you probably want to just observe. Women usually show up at these events wearing regular clothing. Once the party progresses around 10 or 11 p.m., they switch into more sexy clothing. Some women even get completely naked. Playrooms are usually very active between the hours of 10.30 and 1 a.m. So if you were there just to watch couples have sex, this is usually when most people leave the ballrooms to go to the playrooms. If you are comfortable at these parties and you're trying to meet a couple, the best thing to do is to get out on the dance floor and have fun. People will notice you. Once a couple is attracted to you, usually they will come over and start a conversation. Communicate with them and try to figure out if you have any interest in this couple. After a few conversations and a few drinks, if you do find someone attractive, suggest that you go to a playroom. And it's as simple as that. In our next video, we're going to talk about house parties. For more information, please check out our book, Swingopedia, which is available on Amazon.